Welcome to Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Dallas is home to some of the most unique structures, delicious food, and nicest people, and we were immersed in the heart of the city for just about six days. Need inspiration for what to do here and in the surrounding area? We're here to help, starting with where to stay. Yeah, right, we never thought we'd be in Dallas, Texas before, but here we are in hotel number one of two that we're gonna be in this week. Very brief tour. We have the little living room, the office, which will come in handy for myself because I have to work on Monday. The bedroom, <sighs> nice and cozy. A cookie that they gave us for free. <laughs> and the bathroom area, which is meant for handicap, but that's okay because it's big and we're good with it. Oh, and an actual kitchen with a fridge and a microwave and a sink and cabinets and a mirror. Welcome to Dallas. Well, we're really hungry, so we're gonna go to a restaurant called 54th Street, and they have a lot of delicious options, so come with us. It seems like our first step in all of our restaurant experiences lately is to start off with a beer, and so I got an amber red, and Josh got a blonde, and they're both brewed in Texas, and this is delicious. I got this smash burger. It's like a fancy uh, steak and cheese. It's like seasoned perfectly. I got the chicken Cajun Philly sandwich. This thing is a monster. I don't even know where to begin, but I'm literally just gonna try to bite it, I guess. The flavor of this is incredible. We could have gotten fries with both of our meals, but we chose these barbecue brisket beans instead, baked beans. It's like smoky and barbecue-y and sweet a little bit, but also like a kick in the back of my throat right now. Like there's a little bit of spice back there, but they're everything you want in a baked bean in this little dish right here. And if you're wondering, should I go with the fries or should I go with something else? Go with something else, because you get fries everywhere. This place was so good. If you are in the Dallas area, definitely come here. We're gonna go back to the hotel. So you know how normally when you're at like a hotel and you're getting breakfast, you grab the salt and pepper because you know that you're gonna need it for the food, the continental breakfast? This is a little different. They had a Western omelet and it has so much flavor, which is very surprising. And they even have a waffle maker. Josh made a waffle and they have toppings and it is the coolest thing. And I'm actually quite impressed. This is the Hampton Inn Hotel. And I have to say, I have like very, very good reviews for this place. I got the iced mocha latte with charcoal and hints of orange. That is the most unique thing. It's like kind of gritty and then there's like a, a hint of orange at the end of it. It's really good. I got the maple cinnamon latte. It is gorgeous and so big. Oh my gosh. It tastes like the most perfect latte that you want on a cold day. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. You can taste the maple syrup and you can also taste the cinnamon, which is what you want when you are naming your coffee, something like that. Normally I don't feel like you get those multiple flavors, but right now I definitely have like that maple and like the cinnamon definitely is lingering too, so this is so good. Where are we at right now, do you know? Yeah, we're in some, uh, gosh. It's right on the sign. Charleston? Charleston? Carlson. Carlton. It's Carrollton. We're in Carrollton, Texas, and we're in this little downtown area. It is so cute. 
Okay, normally downtown areas are cute in itself, but this place has so much to offer. We are officially in downtown Dallas on a Sunday, might I add, and I add that because it seems like it's very empty and there's not a lot of people here, which is very good. So if you're ever thinking of coming to Dallas and wanting to do like a downtown adventure type of thing, Definitely try to come on a Sunday from our experience so far because it's easy to get around and we have parking for an hour right now. And behind us, we have the bull statues, which is what I'm most excited to go see. So we're gonna take you with us and we're gonna go check out the bulls over there and learn some history about it, learn some history about Dallas, and then just see where the day takes us. <laughs> it kind of smells like cows. <laughs> he's a happy guy. Look at he's like smiling. There's so many more cows than I thought. I've seen pictures of like three or four, but they're like spread out all over this whole park. This entire I don't guess what you would call memorial or plaza. statue plaza because this is the um, the Pioneer Plaza. This whole thing commemorates Dallas's beginnings and it's basically this huge historical landmark um, and it just kind of really represents Dallas as the city. That was a cool plaza but now we're gonna go see what else we can find in Dallas. And so far we've seen a lot of cool structures and like buildings and stuff. It's one of the more unique cities we've been to so far. So we're gonna go find a couple other things to do that are free in Dallas for those of you who would like to um, do things on a low cost. Um, but also we'll just see what happens as we go throughout the day. I'm sure there's plenty to do here, plenty to see here, but let's move oh, on to yeah. the next thing. currently at the Chapel of Thanksgiving in Thanksgiving Square and first of all it is beautiful but right here there is a wall where there are statements of gratitude and you can either write something you're thankful for or a prayer request and I think I'm gonna do both for Josh and I and um, this is just a great uh, way of I feel like um, showing Christ in the middle of a city I think it's incredible so we're gonna participate and we're gonna put in a prayer request right here now there's so many. <laughs> Thanksgiving Square has been a part of Dallas for over 40 years now and like I said earlier I think this is an awesome concept. I don't think we've seen anything like this in any other place we've been to um, and what's the best part about it is that it's centered around the virtue of gratitude and so you come here you you know you feel thankful for what you have and I think it's just an incredible beautiful concept. All right, we're in AT&T like, Plaza or something like that, but there's all kinds of like AT&T experience stores that you can go in, and they have like a bunch of cool graphics and fun things to do. So we're gonna go check those out some more. You know we're all about experiences, so the AT&T Experience Store and Studio was something fun to do in the middle of the city. Some interactive experiences included posing with the Looney Tunes, using arm gestures to choose a scene to play on HBO Max, a guess the movie quote game, and much, much more. We got a game of Connect Four out here. We're gonna play. <laughs> Place your money on who's gonna win. <laughs> A 
anything to say after that rough loss? You know, I'm really not surprised that I lost. I lose all the time, and I'm not competitive at, competitive at all, so I don't really care, honestly. Congratulations, Josh. <laughs>